Hello, welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla gear build video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys my version of Poison Build 2.0. Let's start with the abilities. For the range, Poison Strike applies a poisonous concoction to the tip of your arrow. Upgrade version applied poison blasts in on arc in the flight of the arrow, poisoning all enemies caught in the arc. The next skill is going to be Poisonous Powder Trap. Attaches a small pouch to your arrow that spreads a volatile powder whenever the arrow strikes. Any nearby movement causes the powder to burst into a poisonous mist. Anyone who walks near is in for unpleasant surprise. So just like anyone who walks into the toilet after me. The upgrade version of this ability, your trap can now be triggered twice. For your melee weapon, Poison Strike applies a Poison Concoction to your right hand melee weapon. Poisoned enemies suffer additional damage over time. Upgrade version, the Concoction splashes in an arc in front of you, instantly poisoning enemies caught into the arc. Moving on to the gear, I would admit that Mystical Set, the 2 set bonus, would be better from that set, but I was stupid and I was saving the opals when we had the chance to get the 2 pieces from that set, but I didn't get it, so I'm using 2 parts from the Celtic set with health runes, armor runes and the melee damage runes on the Celtic set. The 2 piece bonus from the Celtic armor increasing attack when taking damage. The fifth piece from your armor, I am having Druidic Precious because they are lightweight with the armor and the health rune. The fifth piece really doesn't matter like I have said in my previous build videos. For the two last pieces, I am having Drogo armor and the Drogo hood. On the hood, I am having two range damage runes and the minus weight rune. The two set bonus from this set, increasing attack when hitting a poisoned enemy. So this is really good looking and pretty good for your poison build. For the Celtic set, you need the Season Pass or the Wrath of the Druids DLC. Just leveling up the Dublin, you will get few pieces and the last two you will get from the Trangers in the island. The Drogo armor is Helix store item, but don't worry, you don't need to spend any more money. You can just save the Opals from the weeklies, from the dailies and from the weekly Ubisoft Connect challenges. Now the weapons and the bow. Arc of Elan. Each successive hit temporarily increases ability damage up to 4 times. I have put the chance to poison your weapon on parry, plus 2 3.3 poison build-up runes in this weapon. And you can get this weapon from completing the story arc of Essex. On the right hand I am having Bonesicle with speed runes and increasing speed after each hit up to 10 times square rune. You can get the Bonesicle from Ireland killing the Black Stout Boar. Perk from this weapon increasing attack when weapon is poisoned. So this is just perfect for the poison build. For the left hand I did chose Warder's Bite. The perk of this weapon heavy combo finisher hits have a chance to drop a poison cloud and I put chance of poison cloud on parry with 3.3 poison damage runes. So let's put this build to the test. I'm doing the testing with regular enemies, with Goliaths, with shield bearers, and you can see how powerful this build can be. I started the fight with only one bar of adrenaline, but because of the skill and assassination I have two bars, putting up instantly the poison cloud, making the light and heavy hits, I will be dropping another poison cloud as soon as the heavy finisher lands. With this, I'm constantly doing the passive damage dealt to the enemies when they are constantly on poison, so you can take even large patrols that might include 2 to 3 patrols together that I have seen sometimes happening. I will demonstrate why I did choose the Warder Spite, the Dane Axe for my secondary weapon. It is because of the long range and it will hit with the special attack every direction at once. The next location will be at Kaleva Outpost, the middle of the arena. Here I will show the parry, poison cloud and overall how this build can work in your benefit. In the end, the look of this set is not that bad, only transmogs are the preachers that looks like Valence armor and the Warrior's Bite that I transmogged to look like Oscar Blade. You can get 
the World Respite by completing the Legendary Hunts. I would like to know what kind of builds and what kind of poison builds, what weapons, what armor, what runes you are using at the moment, if any. If not, are you gonna use this? Are you gonna test drive this? Leave your comments, thoughts, ideas, opinions in the comments down below. I would really like to know about your builds. But like always, thanks for watching, leave a comment, share this with your friends, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you won't miss any of my future uploads or live streams. I try to stream every week. Also, have fun, stay safe, be strong my vikings, skatha over and out, see you in the next one, and bye bye.